What is Hayes' experience, current experience in the recruitment market telling you about the state of the economy? I think the economy is in, uh, in fine form, probably been so for, with hindsight, 15, 18 months now. We started to see the first green shoots uh, of the recovery about 18 months. And the, uh, the economy, it feels more broad-based, more sustainable as every, uh, every week goes by. In which particular skills areas are you seeing extra demand compared to where we were? A uh, number of areas. We, we operate in the white collar space, so we deal with engineers, we deal with healthcare specialists, financial services, lawyers, etc. Anybody in that professional and, and technically qualified, uh, qualified space. So we're seeing a, a quite a dramatic pickup in areas like construction, for example, engineering, IT in general. And that's starting to, uh, to drive into wage pressures now and wage inflation. Some surveys are showing that skills shortages are becoming a really significant problem and quite a barrier to growth now. Is that what you think? Well, if, if you look at the, the backdrop, the economic backdrop of where we are today, I think this is probably the most, uh, the most buoyant economy that we've held a CBI conference in for maybe seven or eight years. So we should feel very encouraged and reassured by that. What is a little more worrying, though, is more and more of our, uh, our, our organizations, our companies, uh, our industries are now starting to struggle to find the skilled people that they need. We, we simply don't have enough of the, the required skills available locally. Even though it's an early stage in our uh, economic recovery, we don't have sufficient supply to meet the demand of jobs that are being created today in these industries. So this is all about training and education, which is a key theme today, and we've heard quite a lot about it already. What more do you think needs to be done? I think certainly be becoming more self-sufficient as a nation with the skills that industry needs and will continue to create the, the, the sorts of opportunities and vacancies over the next 5, 10, 15 years. Becoming more self-sufficient is absolutely a key part of the agenda. And that means aligning businesses with higher education, with schools, with universities, with apprenticeships, with vocational training. There are many, many aspects to education. However, it is a long long-term fix and I think in the shorter term we have to deal with the hot topic of immigration because if jobs are going unfilled today then how do we actually find the skills if they're not available locally in this country where can our uh, our industries and our organizations go and find those skills let's face it if we want a world-class economy that needs world-class businesses world-class industries that needs world-class talent so let's have a more informed debate if you like about skilled immigration versus mass immigration